Yeah, I, uh, I think that our game against Northwood on Thursday was really the most complete game that we've put together. Just overall, our defensive urgency, getting stops on that end of the floor, and then also the offensive end of things really started to click for us, uh, being able to put up 70 uh, and then 79 on Saturday. So that was good to see. I do believe Saturday we had some lapses defensively. It seemed to just be a step slow, but we're able to pull away there in the fourth quarter. Yeah, definitely you could tell coming into our game Thursday that uh, those coaches watched the film from last weekend and uh, they saw what uh, a good job Zibby did. So they were taking that away at all costs. Uh, they were fronting, doubling. They really just did not want her to touch the ball, and they did a good job of that, especially Northwood on Thursday. So we really needed to move the ball, and other players did step up, uh, including Abby Botts. Uh, she had two phenomenal games for us. And as you stated, we've had five different players get Gleak North Player of the Week, which is just incredible. I don't know if that's happened before, but it just speaks volumes about the balance on our team and just the capability of each of these players on any given night. I would love to always play 40 minutes of great basketball, but you know that's not always going to happen. I mean, we always have, or anyone can have an off night or a rough quarter. And I think it is good to see that we are playing well in the fourth, and I hope that means that we are in pretty good shape. Uh, the fact that we can pull away from other teams there in the fourth uh, and pick up the tempo in the fourth quarter, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that means we're we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah, it was really nice to be at home the past well three weeks. Really, we've been to, uh, been able to stay here and get our girls rested up. Now heading on the road, going to Lake State Thursday. Uh, they play really well at home. Uh, they just played Ashland, a really tough game at home. Although their, their conference record isn't great, they're another capable team. Just all five players can shoot the three, can get to the basket, love what they do offensively, ton of screening action. That's hard to guard. So that'll be a, a tough test for us, again, just being on the road and then going downstate to Ferris. Uh, and they, they are a very different team than what we saw here. At that point, their starting point guard had just uh, gotten injured and she was out. I think that was the first game that she was out. So they were kind of trying to figure out how to do things. And they played mostly zone. Uh, and I fully expect this time when we play them for them to press us, run and jump. Uh, and hopefully we're able to handle that pressure.